All right, for this video, we're gonna be comparing um, two different ways to basically have live preview and display for Octoprint. Um, over here on the left, we have the uh, seven inch uh, Pi TFT official touch display. Uh, basically, this is a housing that I, I made to hold both the, Oct the Raspberry Pi that runs Octoprint, as well as this uh, touchscreen display, which is a, a touch UI plugin um, to basically display um, you know, print progress, you can actually load files directly from here, modify the other aspects of the print. And then over here on the right, we have the Android app uh, Printoid. Essentially, this is, uh, again, this, this ties directly into Octoprint and displays all your relevant settings, has live webcam streaming, stuff like that. So we're gonna kind of compare both of them. Um, I'm using it for different, pur different purposes, so I'm using both together, but just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of what they look like. So the first thing I guess we'll do is kind of go over the hardware on this. Um, again, as I mentioned before, it's uh, Octoprint is a pl is essentially a program that manages your your print software. Works for a load, a huge load of 3D printers. Um, I had it both with my Monoprice Mini, um, and I'm currently using it with my Prusa um, original i3 MK2 printer. Um, but basically, again, it's running off a of Raspberry Pi 3, um, which I have in this housing here. Now this this entire housing is actually 3D printed as well. So um, throw a little picture up here, kind of showing all the different parts. But basically, printed this enclosure out. Um, the Pi sits inside here. Uh, you have uh, some power cables f going from the Pi directly to the display, as well as the, the ribbon cable that provides the, the signal for the display itself. Um, mounts inside, I have the back off right now, um, you know, to show the, the Pi. I'll put it back on here in just a second. Um, also has a nice little access panel if you, need to pop, if you need to take the SD card out without pulling the entire back off. So it has a little access panel here. But I'll go ahead and put the top back on to show you guys what that looks like. Alright, so there it is with the top installed. Again, plenty of ventilation. Um, it's a really nice, nice enclosure. Uh, they did a great job kind of getting all that put together and whatnot. So, pretty pleased with that. Um, I am using a right angle micro USB adapter for the power so I don't have, I don't have any cords sticking at the top where it's going to sit in my enclosure, which I'll show later on in the video. But um, again, you know, Octoprint is the guts of what, what both these applications are going to be doing, so I wanted to kind of show the hardware that's running that. And then here we have the display, and essentially um, this is just the main screen. Uh, you, you know, you have, you have start, uh, pause print, and then it shows the operational information here. And then all down here, you actually have a file browser. So if you have um, your your G code files loaded up in Octoprint, you can just print directly from this touch interface. And again, this is this is a plugin for Octoprint called Touch UI. Um, you also have the ability to basically uh, modify or view the view your temperature ranges. You can you can set your hot end and your bed temperatures if you need to preheat anything. You can do that from here. Uh, you have your your controls, which I'll go ahead and show now. All right, so here we have in close, pro close proximity to the printer here. Um, so again, if I want to move my home home signal, I can turn the fan, the shooter fan on and off here. Um, I can adjust the z-axis and all that kind of stuff. So you know, it's just like it's 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 little steps and in increments and whatnot, but it's pretty handy. Um, also has a terminal viewer, so you can actually see the terminal code as it goes through and it's printing. So pretty straightforward there. I'm going to go ahead and initiate a print. So I've been building some. Uh, I've been building some uh, leg extensions for my 3DR Solo. So I'm just going to go ahead and print off this little pole here as an example. So that's loading up. And so as soon as I load it, it shows the the file name. Let's see if you guys can even see this here. It shows the file name. Um, basically, it tells me if, if my time lapse is on with the, with the webcam. And then other information about the print. This is only going to take three minutes. It's a really, really small, small piece. Um, and then if I go over the temperatures, you can see that it's currently uh, the the bed is increasing in temp up to 60. And then uh, based off the G code, and then my hot end will hit about 200. So it gives you a little, a little graph here. I'll try to zoom into that so you can see that better. All right, and so yeah, so it, sh it shows the, the blue line is the is the bed temperature, and so it just spiked there, and it's it's going up. Um, it'll take a it'll take a hot minute here for everything to heat up, so I'll go ahead and pause this until the printing gets ready to start. 
And while that's heating up, I'll, I'll show a few other functions here within the Touch, the touch UI. Um, again, this is a plugin that you can download through Octoprint uh, via the web interface in the computer. Uh, you know, if you if you log in uh, via your computer, you can go to plugins and install Touch UI. Um, it is a bit of a process to get it to, everything to work with this um, this seven inch display. You basically, have to make sure everything's fully updated and you're running your most current uh, kernels and whatnot. But if I hit this little button here, the fan just kicked on. Hit this little button here. A um, few other options shows your connection if you're connected or not. Um, you can actually, you have actually uh, have access to the time lapse videos that are stored on the device, which is kind of cool. Um, I have a plugin for a built-in STL viewer, so I can actually take take a look at STL uh, the G code STL files directly um, on the device. Touch UI settings, which isn't a whole lot, but basically you can toggle like full screen and, and things like that. And then um, I'm already logged in, so you can log back out. And then down here, you actually have a few options where you can shut the system down, um, reboot, restart Octopi, and then restart Octopi in safe mode. So some basic functions there, um, but overall it's it's nice for being able to basically come in and at a glance see where you're at, um, you know, percentage-wise in, in the print. Uh, this is made to basically sit directly on top of my enclosure, which I'll show in a second. But it looks like it's about ready to start printing because the temperatures are about where they need to be. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so the, the Prusa is doing its auto bed leveling right now, so it's about ready to start the actual print. And so you can see now the, the display is showing it's at 4% completion. Um, and it went ahead and just started. I yeah, started putting out a, a brim on it. So go ahead and pause it and let it get a bit farther. And again, I can control this from here. Um, you know, obviously, your your actual print controls are, are disabled when the print's going, but I can pause a print directly from this menu um, or stop it if something something isn't going right. So say I I, I look at the you know web the web stream via my phone, see that the print screwed up, and come down to hit the stop stop right here, turn it off. Uh, again, the terminal code's going. You know, while this is printing, and again, so we're at about 66%, and you get a nice little progress bar here telling you the status um, of the print. It tells you how many minutes are estimated total, how many minutes you're into it, so you can get an idea of how much time you have left. So we'll just go ahead and wait to the end here. All right, so now we're at roughly 98%. Let's get ready to finish up here, and it's done. And this was just a tiny, this is actually just a little piece of one of the light, light extenders I build. So it's a tiny little pole. So a quick little print, but it finished. And then I just got a message on here saying that it's rendering the time lapse. So if I had my webcam set over here, it would uh, it's let me know that the, the time lapse video is complete. And I can, I can actually view that, you know, from this little, can exhale that. I can view the time lapse from uh, this menu option here. Time lapse ready. So it's done. Alright, so that's done. So let's go ahead and move over and kind of do the same operation with the Printoid app for Android. Alright, so now if we have Printoid, uh, which is an Android app, I'm uh, not sure if it's available for, for iOS or not, but it's, it's an awesome app for basically remote monitoring via your phone or tablet. Um, again, important to note that this does work with... Uh, it, it, it requires... Um, Octoprint to run. I mean, this is still diving into Octoprint, so the Raspberry Pi component is, you know, is still required. But uh, basically, uh, really, really nice display. Again, I have all the same functionality as far as on this on this main screen here. I have my I have a graph showing my my bed and hot end uh, temperatures. Um, I can modify those on the fly. So if I want to change my hot end to let's go up to 200 to preheat, it's going to go ahead and show that that little spike in the in the temperature. Um, I can you know. Press home to bring everything, you know, modify the the, uh, the axes and whatnot on the, on the printer. Um, a lot of cool features here. You do have a direct webcam feed, and um, so right now my webcam is actually in my enclosure. But just to show you, there's there's Kirby, and you can view that full screen as well. So if I if I um, go here and go expand video. You know, full. I have my webcam set right now to basically feed this at 720p, so it's a shows everything as you'd want it. You know, minimize that. 
And um, again, I can actually print uh, directly from here. So I'm going to go back to my over screen view. I'm going to go ahead and click on the drone parts. Do their solo. Uh, a little bit easier to navigate on this just because it's, again, it's just the touch and the face on this is a little nicer than the other screen. But I can select the file, shows information about it, asks me to print, print time, hit print, and basically loads it up. Deactivates my controls of the printer itself as far as the bed movement, but the extruder on the hot end, you, know, you can see they jumped up to where they need to be based on the G code, and now you have your progress. And it's saying estimated time, 7 minutes, 45 seconds. All right, and again, so now we have uh, the active print. It's, you know, about almost 25% complete. And the cool thing is, is from here, again, I can I can switch. If I have my webcam looking at this directly, I can just hit webcam there. It would show the print directly next to that. Um, from here, I also have a few other settings. You can modify the theme. You can, you know, look at, you can look at some, it has some basic commands for the active print itself. Shut down, reboot, restart system. Again, it, it stores your time as videos, so you can actually plan back directly on the device, which is pretty, pretty awesome. And then it also has a built-in Octoprint web app. So if you want to see the actual web interface, the same as you would on the computer, it actually can pull it up um, from here. And so just like it displays on your PC, so that's that's pretty great as well. But if you go back to the uh, home screen here. And show we're at print wise we're we're getting pretty close to finishing up here we're about halfway done all right looks like it's uh, about ready to finish up here 98 percent and there it goes it's done so there is printoid and here we have the android wear companion app for printoid um pretty straightforward basically just gives you all your primary print settings and then as you scroll to the right, it gives you estimated print time and percentage complete, um, print controls if you weren't actually printing at the time, uh, hot end and bed controls. Uh, you can queue up files to print here in this screen. And then also a few um, SSH commands, basically be able to shut down and reboot the system. And then even a webcam view. Now it's not live streaming. It's not like a live video like it is on the tablet. It's just a still image that refreshes like every five to 10 seconds. But again, at a glance, not too bad. Um, you can also get to these functions by pressing the, bu the button directly from this main screen if you, if you don't want to take your time scrolling through it. So hitting webcam, go straight to webcam. So pretty straightforward, but again, just a nice companion app for Printoid on Android. All right, and so here we have the, uh, the Prusa i3 original MK2 in the actual enclosure I built for it. Um, at some point I will be changing out all the parts to match the kind of blue and black color scheme I have going on. Um, they actually just came up with an upgrade for this printer called the MK2S. So I'm going to reprint those parts in the color I want. So it works out well there. And then you can see here how I have the, um, uh, the touch UI interface sitting directly on top of the enclosure. So at any point I can kind of just walk in see the progress bar, see where it's at, and kind of know where the print is. And again, just as an example, on my tablet I still have um, Printoid running, and basically I have the webcam view um, established here. I'll try and bring that down so you actually see it. And so again, this is streaming at roughly 25 frames per second, which is what I have the camera settings set to. Not a lot of movement because it's a very, very small print. But um, again, great companion app for kind of on-the-go type of, type of situations. Um, you know, I'm using both just because I already have the Pi running Octoprint, and I wanted something that could just stay right here on top of my enclosure. Uh, the Printoid is much more of a, a remote management tool. Starting prints from a wait, when you're away from the house, checking in via the webcam stream, um, things of that nature. So overall, the two together work really, really well, and I'm very pleased with how they turned out. Um, I'll go ahead and put a few links below for more information via my blog and also some files um, for how to set up the, the touch interface. And if you guys have any questions, hit me in the comments below. Thanks.